Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. Here, we have to verify the Euler's theorem for the given function u equal to x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. Let's rewrite this function as u of x comma y because the function is in terms of x and y. Now, let's replace x as tx and y as ty. So, this is tx whole power half plus ty whole power half full bracket then tx whole power n plus ty whole power n. Now, let us take the power half to both the terms separately t power half x power half then this is t power half y power half full bracket then again t power n x power n plus t power n y power n then from the first term it is possible to take t power half common after that this is x power half plus y power half. In the same way, here we will take t power n common. So, x power n plus y power n is remaining. Now, we are going to group these two terms. Since base is same, we will add the power n plus half. Then, rest of the term, if we see, it is nothing but our original function u of x comma y. So, you will write here u of x comma y. From this, it is very clear that it is a homogeneous function with a degree n plus half. It is a homogeneous function of degree n plus 1 by 2. Now, by Euler's theorem, we have x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to n u. But here this n is a degree. In this place we suppose to put n plus half. So let us put directly. So it is n plus half into u. Now we have to verify the Euler's theorem according to the given question. So let us find the LHS. LHS is nothing but x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y. So, in place of u, we have to replace the function which is nothing but this entire term x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. So, here x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. In the same way for the second term y into dou by dou y of x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. So, here we have to do the differentiation using the product rule. So, these two are in product. So, we will follow uv method and formula is uv dash plus u dash v. So, outside there is a x bracket open, u we have to write as it is x power half plus y power half into differentiation of v varying with respect to x. So, n into x power n minus 1. The y term will not come because it is a constant. Then plus, we have to write u dash. Differentiation of this is root x. Root x is 1 by 2 root x. But anyway, we will write in terms of x power half. So, this differentiation is n x power n minus 1. Then the other term will not come. Then v we have to copy as it is. x power n plus y power n. Then bracket close. In the same way, second term. So, we will write y bracket open. So, u we have to write as it is. That is x power half plus y power half. Then differentiation of the next term is 
with respect to y so n y power n minus 1 plus then differentiation of this u is half y power half minus 1 then other term should be written as it is so it completed the differentiation now we are going to multiply the outside x term with both the term so what will happen is the first term is as it is x power half plus y power half into n then when I multiply this x with this the power will get added this is power 1 this is n minus 1 so totally power n will be remaining plus the second term when I multiply here this is power 1 and this is minus 1 so after cancelling we will be left with only x power half and remaining term as it is x power n plus y power n in the same way if you multiply this y with both the term the remaining terms will be first x power half plus y power half into n into y power n plus 1 by 2 y power half into x power n plus y power n. Now we are going to group the terms. First let us take these two terms. From this the common terms are x power half plus y power half into n. We have taken common. After that the remaining is x power n plus y power n. In the same way, from these two terms, let us take the common terms out. Half is common, x power n plus y power n is common. Bracket open, then remaining is x power half plus y power half. Bracket close. Let us rearrange this according to the function because our function has x power half plus y power half then x power n plus y power n. So in the same way if I rearrange this the first term will write n in the beginning then x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. In the same way this is half x power half plus y power half into x power n plus y power n. Totally we have to prove the other side n plus half into u. So this is nothing but this entire term can be replaced as u and this term is also u. So we left with n u plus half u. So if I take u common we left with n plus half into u. So the term which we have to prove we started with the left hand side. We started with the left hand side and we got the right hand side. N plus half into u. So which is equal to RHS. So in this problem we have verified the Euler's theorem for the given function.